again for yeah we are, we're changing from Dave from LA Noir to Dave the Diver because for some reason Rom can't show up and he can't communicate why either it seems so it could be uh network stuff could be just ooh, could be unexpected visitors so give me a moment to change the title and such and and also just get the number of which one we are now we I think this might be number nine. Yep, number nine. So Dave the Diver, number nine. Change the category to Dave the Diver. And I can also remove all of these content labels, which I have to say, for games, it's, it's rather stupid to have to put those on. Since, well, if, you, if, the, if Twitch knows the game, it should know what... Uh, uh, what questionable themes might pop up in it. So why they put the onus on that for us to put the pindos on is just stupid for me. Okay. Starting the game, starting the controller. Hopefully without controller issues this time. But yeah, we couldn't find, we, we haven't been able to test the rope or iron for Prince yet, uh, Trucker. So. Yeah, there is no conclusive evidence as to who of those two in L.A. Noir the actual, uh, <clears throat> the actual perpetrator is. For now, we're going to just continue with Dave the Diver, and we'll get started on the tuna party. So, uh, don't think we have to check these, but let's just pull the double checking. Okay. Uh, what is this? Uh, okay, there are some weeds. Okay. The fact that we're farming rice now with this reminds me of a game that I'd heard of a bit ago that was all about rice farming. And using that to... Uh, uh, yeah, I forget the specific is. What's some sort of... Hmm. I think you know what you mean. It's kind of like rice, but before Paul again, and a uh, rice goddess? Yeah. I, I completely I blanking on the name. I know it's a pun. Let's see. To do. Find the ball. There's a bunch of side quests for the sea people. But for now, we're going to focus on this. So let's see. Tuna is going to sell well today. So let's see. Let's put one. Actually, let's leave these two for the next few days. So we can focus on these entirely. So let's see. Okay, we have a much more much more yellow face fin than the other. Uh actually oh get, wait what? Oh I think I see it Matt, now I think. When the when these fish get cut up, it is uh, it isn't just the one source that the meat goes. But to others, yeah, but to both. So we have Otoro yeah. and Chitor uh, Chutoro. Yeah, but to ask that uh, of you last time, but I can't I can't get distracted. Let's see, do we have any recipes with yellow uh, let's see. Bluefin tuna. We could make a hell of a lot of this, more than we would need. Uh, well, we can also just upgrade it. Uh, oh yeah, we can definitely upgrade this a few more times. Let's see. Okay. Mm, one more. And then we'll serve 11 of that. Okay, then we have a bunch of this left and that. Let's see, do we really have... Oh, we... Okay, we can do this as well. There. And there. And there. Okay. 176 now. Okay. 11 of that. And let's see, any other 
Okay, one, two, five, ninety. Okay. Mm, okay. Five of these. And then let's upgrade this a bit. Okay, and then ten of these. Like once again, we're probably overdoing it with this fish here. But better to have too much than too little to make use of this. Uh, let's see. Five of that. And that's about all the tuna we have, it seems. But let's still serve a Actually, no. If we put anything else that is cheaper on the menu now, then it's probably it's just going to distract from all of this. So I say we leave one bit open. Let's check our staff. Okay. Uh, details again. Hmm. They are good, but I think we will go put up a new ad. We can probably get them another time. And just hopefully get some more people who are good at uh, yeah, procuring I uh, yeah, procuring stuff uh, beyond that let's see uh, Ko has a idea for a recipe so let's give you a bit of training okay fried seahorses okay and Raul I think I actually heard of that. Hmm. I think that's actually a thing. And let's leave it. Let's let's make sure that we have about a thousand, just in case. And let's see, research, Hawaiian poke, oh, oh yellowfin tuna, um, yellow. Hmm. Okay, I should have researched one of these two beforehand. Now I probably wasted a bit, but I will. Okay, good thing I left the space open. Let's see, where is that on here or is it unavailable? Yeah, there's so much freaking fish here. And, okay, yeah, we needed more yellow fin for that. Oh, and cherry tomatoes, okay. we, Okay, we couldn't have gotten that even if we wanted to. Uh, yeah, let's leave it like this then. And yeah, open up. Let's see if we can finally understand some of the blasted beer tapping. Okay, all the ordering. Nope. There. Okay, everyone else is doing good. Oops. There. Okay, that's good enough. Okay. There. No. Okay, we really need to find someone who can pour beer like this as well. There. Good enough. Uh, mm. I, I just do not get this at all. Sometimes when I do it short, it goes really like that. Okay. Good enough. Okay. And that's it for today. Yeah, way too much used, but okay. Hmm. Okay, for a moment I thought something else was going to happen, but no. Okay. Almost to the next level with that. Okay. 7,000 in profits. We did lose rating, but overall I'd say that it was worth it. Okay.
<clears throat> I say we upgrade. Actually, mm, uh, we. All right, yeah. The rice is already grown. There is an odd energy to this region. <laughs> Come over to the farm. Okay, heading right over because we kind of have to now, since it's this. Yep. The rice is already grown. Let's try harvesting it. Okay, first off, though, I'm getting rid of the weeds. Okay. Four. Okay. Each of these is worth four, so we get uh, a bit less, maybe. Okay. <laughs> You've got the hang of harvesting now, right? Mm. Yes. But can I plant more rice immediately after harvesting? Uh -huh. Ah, well, the, the land needs some time to recover, you know? <laughs> you just need to wait half a day and you'll be able to plant more rice. Um. Okay, so by the evening. <clears throat> In any case, rice this quality should satisfy the director guy as well. Sorry? I would say, I think he just said it's kind of true. But sometimes a farmer needs to replace the soil for... Yeah, there's yep. there, there, a lot to farm, man. Like, I do, I do know if you don't investigate your soil off regularly, you could have uh, the soil be infected by mold. That could infect the entire farm very badly. Yeah. And apparently, mm. for, for some of us buys dirt to plant it. And it, yeah, I think you can see a problem can that happen if someone is, uh, is. Someone can make a mistake or very eager to get money to sell, sell someone bad soil. Yeah. Typically, farmers uh, will rotate their fields, I believe. Oh, yeah. Uh, I should get this to Boncho. Thank you, Otto. Come by every now and then to manage the land. It'd be such a waste for crops to fall victim to insects. Okay. Need to remove all... Just restart. For, all of the weeds are gone already. Okay. I so pray we don't see the damn locust from Jurassic World Dominion. <laughs> Size of cats. Okay. Uh, now let's actually sell some of these since we should have plenty of food already. Uh, let's see. Ordered? Yeah, nope, not there. Okay, all of those are good. Longfish all good. Let's see. Lionfish. Hmm. Didn't expect them to be all that. Uh, let's see. Titan triggerfish. Let's send. Yeah, let's send one of you over to be fed on. And how are the rest of you? Shrimp. Let's send one of you over since a single one can't breathe. And then we just have the singles. So, and the emperors. Okay, they can still breed as long as they have a little bit of space. So, let's see. Okay, mackerel. I don't know how we are with the food on you, so let's send you over there. Mackerel. Let's lower the amount a bit. There. And might as well even it out to four. Barracudas. I'm just getting rid of all the bad ones. <laughs> oh, oh, we only have one good of those, okay. Now let's keep uh, one breeding pair and hope for a three star. Okay. And next up. Okay. Good amount over here. Three of you. Nautilus. Let's leave that at two breeding pairs, and that's all we can get out of that. Okay. Gideon, give hmm? me my gun. <laughs> what? There's a seagull nearby. Okay. Heading over to the bar or the restaurant. Oh, I want to see okay. who's you. Okay. Meow. Yes, yes. There we go. Meow. 
Okay. Kitty's happy. All the plants and the f farm fish are happy. So let's go make uh, Dave happy by Dave diving around. Oh. Okay. I'm guessing Otto will tell us how to increase nutrition over time. Today was a good day. Went all out. If you want sushi, tuna sushi is where it's at. Okay. Uh, how far away are we? Okay, we uh, we still need something to have to reach a taste level of 250. And we need to research one more recipe. Then we just need a bunch more followers. But actually not that many more compared to last times. Uh, let's see. Oh. An auxiliary device that will expand the capacity of your oxygen tank by 10%. Okay. And one of these. Hmm. Well, it's not bad right considering it's, it's price. True. Uh, let's see. We have enough for some upgrades. So let's also take a look at that. I'm a bit uh, unsure about upgrading the salvage drone. Hmm. Because it, that is really pricey. I'm thinking we put it more uh, towards the harpoon gun at the moment. I feel like the obvious salvage drone is more towards you do later in game. Yeah, for the big catches, like the tunas and such. But we but can get a good amount of food off of them. Much more money. Yeah, we, we can. Yeah, we we can also get a good amount of food of, off of them by fighting them, but that does take a lot more effort. So I think we're just yeah. going to go for the box and the harpoon gun. Dragon bite harpoon gun. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, wait, I said not. Why haven't you upgraded your air tank? Uh, yeah, let's do that as well. Okay, then 3,000 for the next. Okay, now that the upgrade with 10% more air makes very much sense for... 10% sounds little, but it depends on 10% of what the amount yeah. is. Like, 10% of 1,000 is, well, 1,100, basically. Let's see. Build up trust, find the children's <laughs> ball, find the, the ball Mega Mouth's... You doing okay? I'm okay. I better add something in my throat. Okay. Uh, we can only track three things at Ooh. once. Uh, hmm. Let's see. We can deselect this, deselect that. Okay, Mega Mouth Shark. Runaway Seahorses, it's easy enough. And we need to find this uh, some more. So I think for now we're just catch that last seahorse in the uh, village. And then we'll see what else we can get out of there before we need to head out. Pardon? Okay. We have something over here. Let's see then. Oh, another delivery that needs to be done? Oh no. What is it, Mima? We need to serve customers, but I'm missing an ingredient. Say, could you venture into the depths for me? Alright, what do you need? Oh my, you're helping? <laughs> Well, I need tube coral, which looks like this. You can probably find it near the whale bones. Do help me out. Mm. Whale bones? I think I've seen them before. Actually, yeah, I, I, I remember where we saw those. We, saw, we found those along the way to the village. By the uh, yeah. collapse place. Let's see. Seed shop, restaurant... The arcade and the temple has some things to ask. How do we get to the upper level, though? Just... I'm guessing we need to use the portal or something over here. Also, since we can just... We don't lose oxygen here, we can just swim at speed. Wait. Okay, we just get close. Oh. That's a little salt. Hmm? There's a waterfall underwater, Hillian. You know what it means. Ah, uh, yeah, brine. Heavy water. 
there's a door there. And there are a lot of ice. Hmm. So it's maybe not, not dry? Maybe it's a bit unknown? It, it doesn't, doesn't look, look dirty. Here. Oh, you must be the outsider. May King Long's protection be with you. Mm. Hello, what is this place? Oh, this is where we commemorate King Long. It's also where we store records of our history. Huh? Ah, I heard from Tenzin that you were helping out in the village. <coughs> yes, well, how's that? Uh, how's uh, That's how it is for now. Hmm. In that case, there's something I'd like your help with. There's to be a wedding soon here in the village. A recent earthquake near earthquake destroyed the stone slates that we need for the wedding, however. I should have been more careful about storing it. Hmm, it sounds like a big deal, but how can I hope it's something like that? In the days when we see people roam the seas freely, we left some records in human waters. Oh, you must be talking about the Sea People Record Chamber. There should be a stone slate in one of those places for certain. Please do help me out, Mr. Human. Uh, it was a song for a wedding, right? I guess I'll go for the uh, go to the Sea People Record Chamber first. All right, I'll try and bring back the slab. Would you do that for me? <laughs> I'm truly grateful, human. May the blessing of King Long be, uh, go with you. Okay, that's another um, task for us. I can want to look at his statue. <laughs> He's flexing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm starting to get the feeling that if we actually get an actual visual, visual of this king, that he's not going to be like that at all. Hmm. The ice of the divine tree is melting little by little. There are more and more getting sick. Okay, that doesn't spell good if uh, there's ice melting and people are falling sick. Because, yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff hidden in ice or there are other preserved in ice that could be pretty dangerous for things of this era. Yeah, even today, uh, with the humans and all, for people have been recommended better for people out there to be careful. But they also confirmed deadly viruses they have found frozen and they are keeping them frozen. Oh, you want some? Ugh, not again. Darn it. <laughs> Why are you so angry? Junak, that pile of whale poop must have tricked me. My beluga whistle. Well, let's make precious whistle to him. Mm. Beluga whistle? Yes, the, whistles, uh, the whistle that summons Beluga anywhere in the village. I knew I shouldn't have bet that whistle in the game. That hardly swindled or tricked me. Human, can you bring it back for me? Uh, me? Yes, I have nothing left to bet in the card game. I'm broke. Um, I'm not good at cards. I will, I, will, I will play a couple of games for fun. Okay. Now you must be... Beluga whistle? The one that you know, the one the foul tongued lady gave to you? She lost five times straight and went all in. She bet the whistle in the last game. She looked like she needed it. Could you give it back to her? <laughs> Not for free. Play cards with me and uh, play cards with me and win. Then I will give it back to the woman. Quite an annoying dude. Well if you say so. If I win, you give the whistle back to her. Sure, sure. Let's play the game. You need to bet uh, that's some money. Okay. Oops. Uh oh. Uh oh. It, it's memory. <laughs> Flip cards to pair up the matching ones. Whoever pairs up the most cards wins. A competitive memory. Okay. Play this uh, as a kid. Okay. Now his turn. Okay. He. Uh, he finds a crab. Why is his finger, finger banded? Okay, crab. No. Okay, no. Okay, so we have jelly. We have angler. Then there's... Uh, no, there's an angler. Oh, we know where the angler is. There. There. And there. <laughs> Don't clap like a seal. Okay. That's a sunfish and a, a shell. Okay. That's a seahorse, and it was either one of these two. Yep, yeah, there we go. 
they really just collapsed like a seal. Oops, shell. And there should be one oh yeah, over there. Okay, yeah, uh, so he's not a complete dumbass with that. This is good for I I feel like this could be one of these uh, AI would cheat on, but it's not cheating. Crap, crap. yeah, see that crap somewhere. In the upper right, I believe. <laughs> okay. Okay. Crab, crab. Okay, we've got a lead. So even if he gets one right. Oh. Sunfish, which is. Yep, over there. Okay, so. Jellyfish? Jellyfish? He, re he really claps like a bloody seal. Oops, starfish. And you love it. And stingray. Okay. Eel and eel. And I'm pretty. Yeah, we an he can't eel. beat us anymore. Or, I think it might be a sunfish. Or fish. Maybe. Oh, you. Young one with a landslide that even even he got one right there he could he would lose anyway. Yeah, that, that's why it, that's why it gave it, me the win. <laughs> I can't believe it. I was beaten by a human. This hurts my pride. Well, a promise is a promise. Take this. It's the beluga whistle. Give that to the lady over there. Let's see. Okay, so he has two more games for us: shark teeth and find the pearl. I'm guessing Find the Pearl is going to be like the that shuffle game. But for now, let's just head, hand this over. Oh, I'm surprised. I'm impressed, human. <laughs> this is it. The beluga whistle. Well done. Hmm, but... But what? We need bait to summon and ride the beluga. I went bankrupt playing games with that good. Here, you can have this whistle. What? But I don't even know how to use it. <laughs> it's easy. You just blow this whistle anywhere in the village to call the beluga. Though no, you will need to pay some by hey, yeah, to ride the beluga. Well, I'm sure with your skills you can easily make some money from the casino, no doubt. Hmm. I should summon the beluga when I have to cover a large distance. Uh, I think we can swim around easy enough as is. Yeah, uh, I think I know what this short game is. Summon a beluga using down. You can move faster than normal running the beluga. Of course, it's not free. Um, Helia, do you remember a game with a croc that you need to pull the teeth out? Ah, uh, yeah. That, uh, I forget its name. Yeah, I also got its name, but... Probably saw the background. I think it might be a version of that. It could be. Now, where is that lost seahorse? Is it over in Tenzin's house? Oh no, now you remember. Someone modified one of those things. Hopefully, hopefully for the added knives parts at least to, to it. Then you're just playing Russian roulette with knives instead. Yeah, I hope it was only made as a joke and not used. Probably. Most of the stuff like that that ends up on Reddit is a joke. Literally or literally. Okay, where is that lost little seahorse? I'm going to ignore that useless fish. There it is. Give me that. Okay. Now we just bring these back. And that'll be another quest done. I'm guessing for the ball that the Mega Mouth swallowed, we'll probably have to actually kill one to get it. Or maybe it's a specific scene that we need to ben, get it to uh, cough it up somehow. A little bit. We catch it, we put it on the ground, then we have a big root structure drive over it. <laughs> but a two paste. Actually, no, wait, no, no, no. That would probably be a horrifying scene. Yeah. Not sure they want the, the ball then. Well, well, you brought back all the seahorses. They were quite difficult to find. <laughs> we can now resume our seahorse races. Okay. 20 coin, 20 credits, and we're past the halfway points. I'll give you a seahorse's thanks for your help. Well, where can I get one? 
Speak to Yami. Who, can, uh, who are you going to find in front of the race course? <laughs> Hope to see you around in the game parlor, human. Thank you. Oh my, you're the human. I'm Yami. I'm in charge of this seahorse race course. <laughs> I heard you called all the seahorses that ran off. Thank you so much for that. I heard from Lynchin already. We'll give you a nice strong seahorse as a gift for your efforts. Okay. Yay. Yayaka sewers. Okay. And new content. Wow, I've seen many seahorses like this everywhere else. Can you can they also race here? Of course. Bring them to me and I'll register them for yeah, register them for the races. Since you're here, why don't you try registering your new seahorse? Select the register menu. Okay. This is where you can register seahorses you've caught for the races. Why don't, you try, uh, why don't you give it a try right now? Let's see, this one has pretty average stats from the looks of it. Okay. Good. Next, select the race menu to get ready for, to race. Okay. This is where you can select the course and begin a race since you're new to this. I suggest selecting course C for starters. Okay, so more difficult ones go lower, so this is where you can see the participants and check who you're up against. Now then, so we select the seahorse for the race, yeah, we only have one, yeah. Oh, the seahorse's stamina is really important, always make sure to check the arrow on the right. Once seahorses race, they need to rest to recover their stamina. You should have several seahorses ready for a race. Let's go with this one for now. Okay. Looks like you're all set. Let's get started. Okay. It's here to increase the seahorse's speed and win the race. This is basically just a chow race, but with seahorses. If you're oh going to go past the green, you, uh, you slow down, so be careful. Okay. There are different grades and types of races. Hurdle and combined race are offered greater prices. Okay, everyone just gathered there. Yeah. I'm focusing on the bar below, mostly. But I can see that we're not in the lead. Get it in this cross stretch. Nope, second place, but still good. Okay. Wow, that's impressive for your first race. I knew you had potential. Okay. 2.28.1 seconds. Another winning race, but still a good one. Okay, yeah. we get 30 uh, bay if we win. Okay. Hmm. Okay, nice little side thing. I probably won't get too much out of that, but it might be something nice to visit just to see uh, if any, how good any seahorses that we catch are work, uh, how, bleh, how good they may be at racing. For now, let's head on out and see if we can finish up some of the other quests. Now I'm curious what some of these, what we could do with some of these things. Like, could we get some equipment forged here? Hmm. That could get interesting. Yeah, for now, we just need to head out, complete the other quests, and, well, see what else comes up. We have no ongoing events at the moment. We have all the stuff we need ready for the VIP today. So, yeah, we're, we're free to do whatever we want. Okay. Yeah. That's the one with the heck that little whale calf the R is. Yeah, Rammer. I'm guessing it's I'm it guessing it just has a chance to appear when we need it. I guess. There. Probably not as good for my controller that I button mash it like that, but oh well.
Yeah, Let me it, it, rock. Something that I actually realized uh, of when playing most of the story two is this bottom is really good for controllers. Not really. It, 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 like with cheap ones, it's going to have more effect, of course. But I'm not sure. How, it, it, I'm guessing at I'm guessing at some point that the, that's they have been made to be more resistant to it though. Yeah. Dude, it also depends on how often you play a game that relies extremely heavily on bottom and matching on the same bottom. Here we go. Okay. That's another sailfish. There we go. Uh, okay. I can see one of those little sneaky bastards. Just shorts. There. Oh, okay, we had a caught one of those yet, the sea toads. Drink. Okay, there's something... Yeah, that's something of the sea people there. We'll probably get access to that at some point or another. For now... Oh, I, I, I forgot I had the tranquilizer still. Drink. Bang tooth. Okay. Hey, okay, we probably should stun a few. Uh, f oh, oh, hello Ooh. there. Oh, that looks like the one that swallowed the ball. Okay, do we just kill how it then? How would you know, Dave? How would you know? Uh, probably because it's the closest one. Yeah, for the shot, you give a big description of the shark. You had a unique feature or something. And I'm guessing that the unique feature would be a ball-shaped bulge in his throat. You mean it got stuck in his throat? Probably. Uh, well, they did look a bit odd. Can we... We can probably stun you. Uh, I don't if, like if we, I don't short. miss. Okay. Uh, for, uh, the reason the reason they call could call is yeah. they bite of the animals. And you will see if you use an animal full with holes that looks like they're something that you take a circle chunk of someone's skin. Or the said animal skin. That's because of these guys. Okay. Let's see. I'm not really equipped to go fighting this big boy here. Since we know it has a few multiples of 100 in health. But... Yeah. I think we can give it... Actually, no. I don't think it'd be worth it to give it a try, really. Also, let me actually use the upgrades. I, I completely whiffed that shot. Okay. Oxygen tank. I'll hold off on that. Mm. Yeah, we'll have to go after the Mega Mouse some other time then. Yeah, to go yeah, once we're ready out for war. Okay. Now, oh, you again. Can we try and catch you? We probably can't yeah, but, stun what, you. We're what out of ammo is anyways. it? I'm actually curious what it is. I believe it was some sort of shark. It's not entirely clear whether this is suitable as a weapon, but try to swing it anyways. Just do it. Uh, it's not hostile at the absolute least, but it is toxic to touch. But that does annoy it, it seems. Mm. 
Okay. It's the first time that one of these, actually, you know, a non-hostile thing actually fights back like this. Okay. Well, well let's give bring you, you in. the reason. True. Now we get to know what it is. Miso. Uh, whatever that was. We should look at its card at some point. Yeah. For, For now. Wait, have you said it, uh, it might be something Spinosaurus to eat? But uh, again, I might be wrong, but uh, also it, it, the, the name is something looks so familiar. But also, it looks something more scientific name than a actual common name. Okay, I think that's the first time we've gotten a level 3 harpoon tip. Get back here, you. There we go. Sea toad. I wonder now if Whenever we catch seahorses now, if we get you know, the option to send them over to the races instead of to the fish tank. Maybe? Hmm. Yeah, let's keep... let's follow these signs. Yeah, this place that's locked off. We'll probably get access to that at some point as well. There, 7.5 kilos of crab. <laughs> okay, and here's I just of this. It. Hmm? How the messy would not be try to eat a sea a spider crab? Like, the center, yep. the body is probably like just a random crab, but the legs? Uh, How do you even cook it? No clue. Okay, they will actually try to swipe at us. Okay. I don't want to take off the shark up there. Okay. Now we do have a bit of an issue that we don't have an easy escape point at the moment. We are slowed down, so let's just go and see if we can find something. Plain triple axle. Okay, I'll just take that, just to get a blueprint for it, I'm guessing. Or... Let's see. I'm going to be playing it a little bit safer at the moment. So w the first exit point that we find is where we're we're well, <laughs> we're going out. Oh, uh, you you're carrying too much. Yeah. Oh, there's something that we need. And there's an escape point. Let's see. If there's more of this nearby. Then we can probably get yep some feather coral. Is there any more of that, that we can grab? Oh, yeah, we need a feather coral to make a porridge. Yep. Let's see. Grab this little one. Actually, let's see. Another li another little quality of life thing that I would probably advise is to uh, let's get rid of those is to be able to sort in our inventory there by like weight or such <clears throat> drink three tooth something three, uh, three tooth puffer or something all right i was for the miss then mr i thought said the Three toothed Punisher. Yoink. Leaving that one alone. Three toothed Punisher. That sounds like a horrible vigilante name. 
Yeah. Uh, let me grab these. A bit overkill, but I will. Or a bit of ammo wasted, but I will. Big boy, we still haven't beaten one of those, I think. And I think we need to get rid of some barracudas for one of the Eco Watcher things. Yeah. Drink. Oh, yeah, that was the last one that we needed to get rid of. Great barracuda. Well. That was a record! Okay... Um, Increase that's a giant ribale. Three cuddler fish at the same time, or directly after each other. How does that feel? Inky. No, I mean, how does it feel? We're not, talk not talking about your cat here. <laughs> Almost called I Inky uh, attack. Drink. Painted comber. Okay. And let's leave it at that, I'd say. Oh no. I don't remember that the uh, mean picture, but it's some, something about the shadow made a cat look like an eldritch horror. <laughs> okay. For it, I, I don't know what happened, or it was an edit. That's something about the shadows made it look like it had many technicals, but just one tail shadows repeatedly. Oh. Okay, wait. Uses ingredient, keep in inventory. Oh, okay. All right, let, let, okay, th this is nice that we can keep it in our inventory. The day will carry racing seahorses in the inventory. Visit Sea People Village to register for the race. Okay. Yeah, th that's that's nice. They do think of stuff like that, and <laughs> we've gone deeper by one meter. One meter. Okay, all of this is going out there. Cookie cutter shark row. Okay, apparently it's a apparently it's a species of shark since it's, it has the same icon here. Let's see if I can pronounce it. Rhinochimeria Rhinochimeridae. Rhinochimeridae. Uh, something like that. Yeah, you had to agree. That sounds like a scientific name. Hmm. I do see where getting the this the drone updated or upgraded is might be worth it since there's you get so much meat off of a single uh, thing. <laughs> yeah, actually, let's look at the fish cards. Okay. Maybe it has some info about it. Ah, there it is. Let's see, a silver cartigular cart, uh, cartigularius fish. With a long elephant-like snout and poison in its first fin. Measured at around 140 centimeters, it dwells at depths of 200 to 2,000 meters in temperate and tropical waters and feeds on small fish. Okay. Right. So it's not... Yeah, I can see it's not the damn thing that the Spinosaurus ate... Oh wait, yeah, the Spinosaurus ate the... Uh, sawfish. And other fish. Speaking of... Let's put those away. Uh, yeah, we need to we need to get rid of four Titan trigger fish. Get a brittle starfish and purple starfish. Some sea grapes and pink seashells. And I say we go from the top to the bottom <laughs> this time. Hmm? Look, look how many brown shells you have. Yeah, one hundred and four. Wait. Oh, okay. We can deliver. We can deliver these when we have enough to fill in one of, of these. Okay, that is nice. Um, let's see. Do we have anything that can be upgraded further? I can see more, more what people like it for. It's oh. very well polished. Okay, we need fifty fragments, and it's only one extra, and then three giant trevale fins to upgrade the underwater rifle to level 3 for 55 damage per shot. Okay. Hmm. Now we know where giant trevales are in the shallower waters to the right. 
So if we can if we can stun one of those and carry them off, then we can probably get some uh, one of those fins a few times. Um, can't afford to upgrade anything. I also forgot to check how much it costs to run the restaurant now. Uh, management. Let's see. Oh, okay, expenditure 645. So we need about 700 in the bank to be able to last a day, even if we were to make no, no money at all. Um, let's get this one. Then we swap out oh our gun. 40 on the water rifle. And yeah, we go dive again. We we can go visit the record room. They keep coming into the record chamber, but I'm going to call it the record room just for simplicity. Ooh. Blood bellied comb red mainly hmm. Could we catch those alive, maybe? Probably with a tranquilizer, but yeah. Okay. Just going to grab whatever we can along the way. And see if we can catch ourselves a giant Trevale. Hello there. Long snouted seahorse. Hmm. Let's see, we have two of those mines. So we can miss one time. They are more meant for the tuna, of course. But they should work. They should work on the Travale as well. Okay. So yeah, we're going down. Hopefully we'll find the record room has spawned. Maybe the, wherever the whale cough is will have spawned. That's tuna that I'm hearing. Let's see. Oh, triggerfish. We need to get rid of you. And might as well get rid of you as well. Hmm. Actually, if this is a tranquilizer gun... No, it's not. I'll take it all the same. Let's see. Hmm. I might be overspending a bit with by using the trigger mi the, the mine on a Trevale, which is just a passive thing anyways. But if we are going to maybe fight the Mega Mouth, I'd rather have the gun than a, a, a Tranquilizer or something else we've found from here. Okay. Fragment. Turn on the light. No giant Trevale in sight. Some small fries. Hmm. If there's no giant Trevale, then we can also just use it on a bigger fish down in the depths. We got misheard you there. Or you did bespoke. Uh, what did you hear then? Down in the depths. D E P T. Uh, close enough, at least. Um, <laughs> no record room here. But maybe in spelling, but not in meaning. Do I do you call it? There's a term deep in depths. Uh, in the depths. Okay. For a moment there, I thought my controller was having an issue again, but no, that was because of the uh, quick time events there. And that's the first time we've dealt with one of you, I think. Actually, no, we've killed one of these before, I think, otherwise it would have popped up as a new. Long nose saw shock. 
Okay. Oh, that'll be useful. Okay. Oh, there we are. Oh. Hmm. Now we just gotta... Yeah, with the tuna, we know how they are going to go. So with these, it's a bit more tricky on getting them into a net. Unless... Can I just set it up in their path? Yep, actually I can. <laughs> okay, two for the price of one. Well done. Vroom, vroom. And that leaves one more net to go. So, hello there. Uh, where did... Hmm. Anything that would be too slow for, to get away from us would need another visit. So I think we can just save this one for some smaller things. Yeah. Okay. I really have to say this. I am glad you can see through the ink, but at the time, it also feel like... Why even bother with an ink mechanic? If it doesn't prevent the vision t that much? Yeah, like, because people sure would probably gets... complain if it was too uh, blocking. Yeah. But also, it comes to the point that... Why bother? There... So it would also be weird if they didn't squirt ink at you. It's in a... Uh, being threatened. Yeah. No, I believe the record room should be somewhere around here. Hmm. I think I heard something that... Something uh, kind of interesting, but scary. Oh. If I, I remember right, apparently the ink sack in a squid is boiling hot. Okay. I presume more when they eject the ink, otherwise it would boil itself from the inside out. Yeah, I think a lot of a Goji Center video. And either the record room didn't spawn or you missed it. All the same, we can keep going down because I do want to put those and uh, I do want to put those seahorses at the tracks. Oop. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to use the mine somewhere around here. Yep. That's another quest. Alright, I forgot that I needed coral porridge for the seed person at the workshop. All the ingredients have been gathered, so I'll ask Bonser to make it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, is there anything here that we would like to catch live? Yep. Okay, that maybe. Is that is that good? No, that's not going to work, is it? Come on. No, it's not going to work. Okay. A little waste, but oh well, we got we got the most use out of the other one anyways. Okay. Yeah, it is with it with it experimented on. We'll probably get the most out of those sea mines after we upgrade the drone to have two to be able to come visit twice. But for now, we're just going to try and take on that. Oh, let's see, poison effect. It's a living sea snake. Bitten creatures have a chance to become poisoned. It has more range as well, I think, or I hope. Plus, poisoning the Mega Mouth should give us a little bit of an edge. Okay. Um, going to use this to move around a bit faster. Mm. I'm going for combat, so I'm not going to swap that out. Okay. And I'm mostly using the scooter to save up on a bit of oxygen on the way down. Okay, is this ox an oxygen tank? 
No, it's not a pickaxe. I'd prefer to find an oxygen tank now, just in case. No. Good. Grenade launcher. Getting that for the blueprints. So actually, how much damage does that do? 30. But it has less rounds as well. Hmm. Yep. Probably not a good idea to dash. Or to rush. Can I? No. We need a pickaxe for that. Hmm. I don't want to waste too much time swimming back and forth. So, as it. Wait, is there? Nope. Okay, there we can go that way. Ow. Okay, these things work with an AoE. Do yep. you really want to eat that? Probably not. Complete yep. whiff. Hmm. Okay, we'll definitely have to come back here some other time. But for now, I need to. I want to find some way down to the sea people so I can, at, at the absolute least, hand over the seahorses for the races. So, where is the way down around here? Or do I need to go up and around? I need to go up and around. Hmm. Controller. Okay, weird. Okay, this should lead to the big opening. Where the Mega Mouth should also be. Oop. And yeah, we need some of that for a quest as well. And there Mega they are. Mouth. It feels weird. Like, it, it feels like it... something for a cartoon. Just need to keep my distance. Need to stay out of its range. Yep. Okay, that was surprisingly easy. Okay. Yep. Wait, was was that not the one that swallowed the ball? Um. <laughs> oops. Tranquilizer Harpoon, let's not go for that. Another pickaxe. And then again, we don't want to get near the thing, so might as well swap that out. Hmm. Let me go grab the ammo here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is too high up. This is not the one that we were after. Okay, that was a mistake on my end. Uh, but we can dump out some stuff. This is not the shark you're looking for. Literally. In there. Okay, what can we dump out? Let's see. I'm keeping the seahorses. I can actually dump out you. Uh, five for that. These little guys give a lot of meat for their size. Mm. Oh, yeah, let's dump out you two. And that's enough. Okay. Now, where is that shark? Over to the left here? or Below us at the absolute least, I think. We should be getting to the entrance chamber now. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're fully loaded. So time to unload. 
Hello, Maggie. Yep. There we go. See? We're going to be slowed down from this, I'm guessing. And yeah, that was the ball. Oh, hey, Rom. Uh, I'm guessing something came up on your end or something. Test one, two. Rom, test one, two. Uh, Are you kicking to hear him? Yeah, you're coming out rather low. Hello. Yes, there we hello. go. Hello. Uh, hello, hello. I'm guessing you got visitors at the last minute or something? Nah, I just went out to buy food. Okay. <laughs> okay, at least it was that and nothing serious then. But yeah, we, we did a start on uh, LA Noir, but we decided to not move on too far without you. Okay. I'm gonna so, yeah. just give me a second. I gotta turn off the TV in my bedroom. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, I might actually want to use the beluga since we're slowed down, but we're close enough to everything. Okay. Hand over the coral. It's gonna be that heavy, so we'll still be slowed. I'm here. Oh Wait, my! Yes, back? this is it. Welcome back. Thank you so much. I can finally provide proper food for my, uh, to my customers. I'd like to hear about you humans too, so drop by to chat every now and then. Okay, some more credits. I'm okay. guessing we're not. I'm guessing LNOR isn't happening right now. Uh, yeah, un unless there's a very, very odd DLC for it. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. We continued on only a little bit. We found the evidence in the trunk of the car and we interrogated both of the suspects. But we'll leave the accu ac 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 accusing to whenever we can do it next time. Yeah, that's fair. So, um, mm. Yeah? Go on? Not much. I was actually playing oh. Black Ops 2, believe it or not, on PS3. Alright. Funny part uh, is, the game crashed, and I thought, well, that's another game I can't play because the disc won't read. Nope, turns out some genius fucked up something for the PS3 version after a while, and if you're online, logged in, it basically, like, doesn't want to run. So you have to put your PS3 offline and be a PlayStation Network. Uh, like, every oh, major dear. game company just has idiots like that, that just their work shows through every now and then, huh? Sony, yeah. Nintendo, Microsoft. Uh. It gets even dumber when you realize that I want to play Black Ops on PC, but the problem is, well, as Nguyen pointed out when I mentioned that both World at War and Black Ops 3 have a uh, four-player co-op, there's backdoor entrances caused by hackers, meaning if you have the game, there's a good chance that even if you play single player, someone can hack in and hack your system. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see. Wow, it's the ball. You really brought it back for us. Mm -hmm. It was really, it was real scary. You kids stay inside the village from now on, okay? Okay. I guess humans aren't all bad, like what we were told. Hope to see you again, human. Okay, now we just need five points. And yeah, basically, uh, yeah, <laughs> we found an ancient civilization that th was thought to be mythology. And well, we kind of need to smooch up with the big guy in the lower right corner there. Before we can actually and move on with realistic. things. This is just like, I don't know, China? Yeah, it's like more the, mm, the game was Chinese, Korea, Japanese. Though. Just, your character kind of reminds me of Avatar The Last Airbender, and if I remember correctly, that one was basically <clears throat> Chinese mythology. Yeah. Well, at the beginning of the game, it says it's something about a Korean company. 
Also, you know, I can't read any of that, and I'm pretty sure that's like new age. Like the sign on the background, I'm pretty sure it's new age uh, windings. <laughs> yeah, that's to see people uh, text. I'm pretty sure. Uh, we can't read it either. Like we we <laughs> we had a translator made, but it's only for spoken language somehow. But we can't uh, read the damn stuff. I that's can read it. it. No, what does it say then? Here lies, uh, here lies Hillian's dignity. <laughs> I'll take notes of that one. I was just saying, Rome was here. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, Rom, this is Dave the Diver instead of L.A. Noir, and yeah, I, I would highly recommend this game. It goes on pretty long, but it doesn't outlast its time, and it doesn't get too tedious. Hmm. Let's see. You don't look I well. Think, Some, oh, I go ahead. actually know good things about Dave the Diver, but I kind of also want to play it for myself. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the fact that sea people are a thing isn't really much of a spoiler since you get to see one alive in like the first half hour or so. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Is something wrong? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I I've also got lunch and I was planning on eating lunch while watching Ellie Noir, but I also have my yellow kitchen now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, too bad on that. Yeah. Well, either way, uh, yeah, I'm also kind of tired and it's hot outside because the weather patterns make absolutely no fucking sense. It's cold one day, then it's hot, then cold, then it rains, uh, then it's Same day. here. Yeah. So I think I'm just gonna leave. You guys have fun with Dave the Diver. I'm gonna try and figure out how to upgrade my PC for much of it. Have a good night. Okay. See ya. See ya. See ya, Rome, and be safe. Hmm. Oh, right, before I forget, uh, now, now I'll mention it on the, on the channel later. Okay. Part of okay. Later. See you. Later. Okay, and enjoy your lunch. I'm a bit too late on that, but oh well. Let's see. Makut Selgio has disappeared. Sir Selgio? Yeah, he's my pet, my purple pet squids. He was gone when I woke up. Yeah. It makes sense that they keep squid as <laughs> pets. Well, he's disappeared before. He followed the shining jellyfish. Mm. Shining jellyfish? Mm. Human, can you please find Selgio for me? Yeah. He's timid, but put this high-quality food nearby and he, uh, when he's calm to lure him. Okay. Got it. I'll try luring him with the food. Okay. Uh, for now, though, let's first register our seahorses. Let's see, rank 4 crown seeking horse. Okay, good stats on these ones. Uh, let's, not so good on acceleration with this one, but good with obstacles. And yeah, let's put all of those in. And while we're here, we might as well do a race. Okay, let's see. Who is our best one at the moment? Uh, let's... crown seahorse, it seems. Yep. This one is not good. The, that one's uh, tired from last time. And what is with the what's with the error on this one? I, does it mean that they're? Oh, I think I see. When the arrow is upwards, they are highly motivated or something, so they get a boost to their scouts. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, this is a clear win. A freaking missile on the water. And here, here he does the seal. <laughs> it's completely embarrassed the competition. 18 seconds. Okay, we get paid for that. We'll probably get ac we'll probably get access to shops here soon enough. Oh, and that unlock these. Let's see, this is a combined. Hmm, what does that specifically mean? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, they they got tired from that. So here's our other best. 
is the little dwarf seahorse. As the name suggests, it's a very small seahorse, maximum size 5 centimeters. It has spotted skin like a dwarf and is covered with black spots and it's cut off. I didn't know that dwarves were supposed to have spotted skin. I think it might be a mistranslation. Maybe. Either way, though, let's put this one for the race. It's a fun little distraction. Go get it. Earth is really tiny. Why are there pocket fish here? Uh, uh, because there is also an obstacle course. Now. Here's one still... you see who has an advantage. Too early. Yeah, the, the, the speed is calculated in millimeters per second. Okay, and we need to hold it up to get over. There we go. <laughs> this is something funny and cute about Dan like that. Okay. And we might as well give this one a shot, even though we're not likely to win it. It's, uh, I'm just going to call this one J. to win this, but we're still going to get a, put up a decent gap for in last. <laughs> oh well. We had a good try with it. Uh, <laughs> disappointed Dan. Oh well. Well, plays all. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, there's a team race? Okay. Hmm. We'll have to take a look at that some other time, though. Okay, for now, let's head out. And, yeah, let's head up to the surface. Boncho can make the porridge. And then, tomorrow, we can bring that back down. Maybe get access to sea people forging. But at the very least, we'll probably fill up the amount of credit that we need. Yeah. But actually, thinking on things... Yeah, I think this is leaning more towards Chinese. Or at least the, the circular doors and windows remind me of that. I'm not sure if those are common in Japan. I don't think they are. I know way too little about Korean. Well, I have tried. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing it's just overall a mixture. Yeah, but I think they have some for the they, they've been they've been their own country, but they've also been conquered by both at various points of history. Yeah, and I'm I'm guessing these sea people used to live in like the seas between the areas, so between China, Korea, and Japan. So could have been parts of all three. Uh, cultures that they were influenced by or they influenced those three cultures oh that's a f yeah. that's a hell of a lot of meats but then again we caught two so each one is 27 and we've got mega mouse row as well now okay <laughs> um yeah we should check the uh, Tohoku is back already, and uh, hello, Billy. And Masayoshi. Okay. Uh, before we head anywhere, let's go to the farm, since half a day has passed now. So we should be able to plant more. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, it, it grows of itself? Or did it auto plant this on itself? I, himself. Okay. Hmm. Let's check up on him. Yeah, uh, I'll grow the rice. Just collect the insects every now and then. It's... Okay. What's with you and the harpoon in the knee? 
Yeah, that right. Hmm. Again, depending on the size of the harpoon, there might be no knee left. Yeah. Or at least no kneecap. <laughs> yeah, he'd need a he'd need a peg leg then. But he's like could have survived, but just he may have needed a support for the leg or some crickets or so. Crickets. I misclicked. Okay. The VIP Stilt. will be coming today. <laughs> oh, no, not still. What the heck is it called, the ones again? Crutches. Uh -oh. Crutches, thank you. Mm. Ew, this place is rather hot. Is the food ready yet? To be honest now, I won't charge you for it if it isn't. <laughs> Here you are. This food will make your inspiration skyrocket. Okay. Looks like an explosive dish, all right. It looks nice, but will the taste justify its fanciness? <laughs> Try it first. <laughs> yep, try, try it before you fry it. Okay. Let's not trash it. Oh, okay, that 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 does look really good. <laughs> oh, it's coming to me. Yes, because <laughs> powerful inspiration is filling my soul. <sighs> Haven't felt this way in a while. It's rice. It's not easy to find such rice in these parts. How did you? I had some help from a friend. I'm glad to see you like it. If, you, if you'll continue making your masterful uh, movies that pluck at the heartstrings, you're welcome to eat here whenever you like. Hmm, you're quite the man. I like your style. Perhaps my next movie should be about a sushi bar. It should feature a man with a missile launcher in one hand. <laughs> What kind of story is that? <laughs> In any case, I think I'm all set, thanks to you. This is the Robot Samurai poster with my autograph. You can have it as a gift. <laughs> my gosh, Robot Samurai. <laughs> you can look forward to the next movie. It's sure to be an exhilarating one. Okay, we got a thousand from that, a bunch of likes, and the poster. <laughs> Okay, I'm guessing that showed up over here. I have to say this. Michael Bay sounds like a actual nickname. Some people may have called the actual director. Would not be surprised at all. And I would not actually be surprised that it's an in either a a you between the people who made this game and then you also said that but let's make this an uh, actual character. Let's see. Okay. Um, let, let's leave the co the Wi-Fi router. Let's leave. Let's leave the the picture of the cobra made up there. Uh, let's put on the plant pots. <laughs> Christmas tree. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's um. Uh, let's spend a little bit. Yeah, those look like they fit more. The ceiling. I think it actually looks good as is. Speaker. Wooden speaker. Modern speaker. Uh, our first decoration bit. Our second decoration. Third. We have nothing there. Yeah, let's put up those. And yeah, that'll do. Just 105. We can miss that. Oh. <laughs> Bought first interior interior item. Okay. And I just realized that we forgot to send the staff to go hunting for uh, ingredients. Oh well. Let's see. Billy. How are you do? You get tip master and cleaning master. Clean up the messy seat quickly. Okay. And good stats. Ingredient uh, prep experts and dispatch master. Okay. Hmm. Good stats. 
Let's see. How are your stats? Okay, you you become a really good server, and you clean and you make get tips. Okay. And you again, you are just a really good cook, and you have good appeal as well. I think we hire. Hmm. I think we hire Billy at the moment. Billy. <laughs> there. Yeah. They what? have low procure, but we can we can approve on that later. Raul has a plan, has a yeah a dish idea. Okay. Stellate puffer Nico uh, Nikogori. Okay. We should probably train Maki a bit as well. There. Yeah, from the right, she might be the best one in the game as a cook. Okay. What idea do you have? Small spotted dart Kajime soup. Okay. Now, I think it'll be worth it to at l absolute least train everyone up to level 5 at some point. Hmm. I I'm hoping that Raptor's second skill is beer serving. Because if we can have... If we can have... Uh, Billy clean up and Raptor serve the beer. And then we can basically just focus on serving the green tea. So, let's see. How much would it be? Okay, you would need 60 more to beat out Ko for serving. Um, let's see. Train. Okay, yeah, you're, you're easily going to hit that. Yeah. Oh, you already get an idea. Oh, oh no, you get the tip master unlock. Okay. Okay. And yeah, you're just about beating him out on that. Let's train you once more, just to make the gap a little bit bigger. There. Okay, now, Ko, you've been doing well there. <clears throat> you've been doing well there. Always crack. But Billy is better. Billy! Okay, anyone else here? What do you do? Yeah, you're, the, you're a good cook. 780s. And dispatcher. Yeah. Okay, um... Yeah, let's not forget to send them out to procure this time. So, what are we low on? Let's see, 15, 7, 10, 3... Uh, let's get you to go get some mayo. And you can take Mitchell uh, with you. Then salt. One, two, three. And go. Okay. Now. Oh, let's not forget to talk to Boncho. For the porridge. Coral porridge. Something I've made before. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's another 6C person. Here's the ingredients. Alright, hand it over to me. I'm not sure how, if coral soup would even taste well. Here, <laughs> corals. I don't imagine them tasting good. Thank you, Bancho. Awesome, I can take this to the sea person at the workshop. All right. You were saying hill? <laughs> <laughs> now then, let's set our menu. We can get this one up. Uh, for sure. Hmm? Uh, say, we probably gonna need to end the stream after this one. <laughs> probably. Uh, research. We don't have enough flame to research anything. So, let's put one of our specials on there. Uh, how is our best... Okay, it's still the seahorses, apparently. We're going to need a lot more seahorses to get that up. Oh. Hmm. Okay, this might... Yeah, this will probably be good. We're getting high taste. 
Yes. Okay, we need more Harlequin Hinds. The green ones there. Upgrade it again. But I think we can put one of these for on the table. That's, I'm guessing, <laughs> a motorcycle on your end? Or are you trying out the trumpets? No, that was actually a motorcycle. <laughs> that was hurt. Yep. Well, let me say that boss, that was a loud one. Let's see. Mm, let's do two of that. I'm still waiting for the day that somehow my mic picks up the ice cream truck. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, the so one that yeah. brings the airport to the postal service, serving ice cream to rain and storm and hurricanes. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I think that'll actually do for this. Let's see. 17, 19, 25. I think that should be good. Okay. If it's not, then, well, we'll see. Uh, let's actually have a chat with you. <laughs> do you feel the heat of this beach? Rock and roll. <laughs> All right. Let's open up. Okay. Oh, okay. I look at Raptors. Call it. I think this is a YouTuber he's supposed to be. Yeah, he, he's been correcting that mask for quite a while. Yeah, you saw the Raptor YouTuber Raptor has the same color scheme. So yeah, he's, I guess he had played the early access version or something. Yeah, three perfect on that. Oop. Clean that up. Get some of this made. This is a good night. No one wants beer, so that's also a good thing. Uh, clean that up. Damn it. Again, how is that perfect? There was hardly any. I just I just don't get that. Okay, we get tips for cleaning these up as well. Okay. And there we go. Yep, we got that. And boom! Oh. Okay. <laughs> and I thought last time was good. Well done, Hillian and Boncho. Well done. 11k on one day. <laughs> Iron rhymes. Okay, we've got spending expenses. Or we got expenses of about 800. So, yeah. Okay, oop. Udo? Yeah. Wait, can I have a moment with you? No. Oh, you're the reporter from before. Do you need help with something? You've helped him no. quite a few times. <laughs> Do you really still need to go, oh, you? Thanks to your help, my boss entrusted me with a new project. <laughs> I'm sure a promotion will be in order. <laughs> well, anyways. <laughs> Tell me, sir, have you seen extremely novel fish inside this, gi this giant blue hole? No. I mean, no. there, there are fish from many different locales in there. What do you mean by novel? I mean very peculiar fish. The, one, the sword no one has ever discovered before. Our magazine has a secret weapon, the fish radar. And it tells us that this blue hole ha is a treasure trove of undiscovered species. Fish radar? That could be really useful for us. We, weak f we, we weekly fish are planning a series of specials over the next few months to showcase these precious new fish. It's called the Catch Them All Project. Uh, you might want to talk to Sato over about that. We can research this fish on the weekdays, and if you can catch specimens for us on the, over the weekends, they'll be featured in the specials that we'll be publishing in the weekly fish every Monday. Yes, Monday. Okay, so now we're going to get weekly things? Me? Catch them? 
Mel, you are kind of the only diver in these parts, aren't you? Nah. I'm not really following your logic. Oh. In any case, as we have to have the issues ready by Monday, we'll have to catch the specimens by Sunday evening at the latest. Oh. That's tomorrow, that, but that's tomorrow, isn't it? That, this is just too sudden. Oh. Now then, let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. I'm, I'm going to put that in there every time that line comes up. The fish we spotted with our raider this week was the, the humphead parrotfish. Uh, a horned parrotfish? I've never seen anything like this. Uh, are some of the people dressing up the fish or something? The location is close to the boat rack. That's what I can detect. Oh, and I'll give you this fish tracker. If there's a fishmon you need to catch nearby, it'll vibrate and play a sound. A fishmon? Oh. Don't be surprised. Guess what this device can do. It allows you to see all the information about fish even while diving in the water. You can see your best grade fish, how many fish you have in your rest... That is useful. And fish farm and more. Is that right? But how is that possible when I didn't link my device yet? Oh, you are a bit clueless, aren't you? <laughs> By the way, oh. good luck then. That's still Sunday or tomorrow evening to be precise. Oh. Mm, this is sudden. Work for a magazine. Oh. Come to think of it, I think I've seen the boat wreck in passing. Okay, new weekly fishing. Strange creatures will sometimes appear in the giant blue hole. They're called fishman and are anything but easy to catch. Get information from the uh, journalist Udo who comes on Saturdays. And this fish tracker. From now on, you can use fish tracker on the water with the up button. Use this device to count the numbers, uh, number of ingredients from the fish farm and sushi restaurant and check the grade of the fish you catch while you're still in the water. Though when you're facing a tiger shark like that, you maybe want to keep your focus <laughs> forwards and not on your phone. Yeah. And now... Wait, I did set the timer, did I? Yeah, it is. It is time. Hmm. I was to say, and now try to end the steam, and uh, something else got arise in the game. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> I, I see what I did wrong. I accidentally sent uh, set the timer for ten hours instead of <laughs> one hour and something. Okay, deleting that. What? Yeah, let's just finish up on this, and then we'll end the stream. Hmm? Some kind of mail is here. Should I check it? Auto made a post. Marlin party. Uh, ta -ta, Blue Hole Tourism Committee. Ta -ta -ta. You all know the story of an old man who couldn't catch a fish for 40, 84 days off the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. The fish he finally caught was a marlin. And now marlins are beginning to be sighted in the waters near the Blue Hole. To seize this opportunity, the committee has decided to host a marlin party three days from now. Local restaurant owners are encouraged to participate in the event to rack up revenue. Rumor has it that some even sighted sailfish. Not very often, though. Okay, so we have another event. We have a fishmon to chase after. So let's just check Cookster here at the moment. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, food beyond imagination. Wolfield tail. Detoxified pufferfish is just the best. Just thought of the most awesome idea. Prepare yourself for my next big one. And after starting work on the farm, I'm just about starving. <laughs> okay, he had quite a bit of fish. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, that'll do it for now. Nutrition is still lowering. And there is... Okay, there's one re weed to get rid of. But we can deal with that next time. So for now, we had an over. Put down the save over here and there okay yeah the, the more i play this game the more i grow to like it because on the one hand you could say that this puts out the new content slowly but it puts it out slowly enough that you can get accustomed to all the old stuff before new things pop up yeah so it's it's very well paced and it's not supposed to be rushed yeah, uh, yeah, I kind of like that. Let's head on out over here. And we go look for someone to raid. So, let me change the screen share. There. And the there. 
Okay, let's have a look. There's a lot of people on. Uh, I'll skip out a few who are doing things of, that we typically don't raid on, like Dungeons and Dragons and art. We have Jimmy McGinger with Xenogears. Ooh, pardon. Uh, next we have I'm Nice with Final Fantasy XIV still, it seems. Let's see. How oh, they've been going at it for almost seven hours now. <laughs> okay. Uh, we've rated Empathize earlier. Torpid Typist is streaming near Automata. Redacted Cat is playing Rise of the Triads uh, Ludicrous Edition. Okay. Oh, Sid has made a boo boo this, apparently. I have not <laughs> yep. watched it yet. <laughs> uh, CB, I mean. did recently, CB. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. What is it, Sid? Uh, we raided Lasherus recently. They are playing Crowsworn again. I th yep. Uh, I'm a flanker is online, but he's not. Ha he doesn't have anything marked as the category. What the heck is this? Oh, it's uh, Modern Warfare 2 DMZ. Uh, oh, hello there. Hello, hello. WBPL is streaming Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, but just to continue on, we have Ruffy Raccoon with Baldur's Gates. Uh, Halloween with Road 96. It looks like WB is quite far into the story already. What is this? Some sort of road trip game? I'm guessing. And last but not least, Todd Scalitale is playing Deep Rock Galactic. I really should be... I really should pick that up again. With the new season and all. Okay. Um, WB, since it's one of my favorite games that he's playing. No, no we're not. Okay, copy the name, then we head to our place. And actually, since I'm not using the chat program, I'm just going to open up another browser so I can do a check for bots in the chat. But for now, or not, not another browser, another tab. For now, slash raid and paste. And uh, yeah, thank you everyone else be watching now or later. Thank you, Trucker. And let's see. Uh, yeah, just Trucker, it seems. <laughs> so thank you as always, Rick here. Oh, and of You're course, Rom for visiting as well. Oh, yeah, Rom for visit. And yeah. Uh, tomorrow, day off. Then Tuesday, we will, ha we will start with Doom Eternal's Ancient Gods DLC. I am curious about that, but I'm also a bit hesitant since the second part of that isn't as well reviewed. But we'll see how it is. Sometimes people just hate on things because of stuff. Could be that they patch it up later. But oh well. Yeah, because we people had a bit overly high expectations. And let's be honest, it's Doom. True. And. Oh, we missed one, Swobe, who is playing Gothic. I'm going to poke that, open that one up on a new tab, just to see if it's the old school or the new. I'm pretty sure that shouldn't have been released yet, or at least I haven't heard of that. But yeah, let's start the raids. Okay, not blocked. And yeah, thank you everyone who has been watching again. And until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe everyone, and watch out for... Hornet parrotfish. <laughs> okay, until next time. Safe.